walking. That's a look at our setting tonight. The picturesque city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And here we go with Game 4 of the NBA Finals. We will see a Game 5, but will we see Game 6? That's the question. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. And now the Lakers starting group, Green and Rondo in the backcourt. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's LeBron in at the small forward. And for Milwaukee, Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Matthews and Middleton, the two wings. And it's Bledsoe in at the point. So the Lakers win the tip. Now here's LeBron. Kuzma outside. The 10-footer. The rebound by Middleton. Out left of the wing. Bledsoe passes to Andre Kumbo. Unselfish play there by Bledsoe. Does a great job scanning, noticing. Somebody's open. Get them the ball. Stolen by Middleton. Now the Bucks moving it up. The shot by Bledsoe. Nobody around. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. And, and you can see the break slowed down for him to kind of pick his spot. And boy, was he open. Here's LeBron, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Just shake your head at the size of LeBron James, and once he gets into the paint and gets pinballed around, he gets that contact and finds free throws. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And it's the all-around game of LeBron James. Dominant scorer, great rebounder, incredible passer, and an intense defender when he wants to be. No good on the second free throw. And it's Bordso with the ball for the Bucks. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Frank Vogel had a few minutes to share with me. He told me when you're in this position in the finals, you have to try and capitalize on it. He said if we can go up 3-1 tonight with two chances to finish it off at home, we've given ourselves the best chance to succeed. Of course, he likes the odds in that scenario, Kevin. Who wouldn't? Back to you. All right, thank you, David. Free throw, good. Giannis. Now we can talk about it over and over again, Kevin. Attentacumpo combines size and versatility in ways we just haven't seen, at least up until the Greek Freak's arrival. Both shots good from the strike. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Middleton against James. Dishes to Davis. No good on that one. Good D by Lopez. Loads it up for Giannis. Rondo with the steal. James left side. And it's sent back by Lopez. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame. A smart block, if you will. Here's Bledsoe. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. A big win for them coming off a strong game on Friday. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. Well, there's probably a good feeling in that last game that the mid-range work, the long-range work, the inside game work. But the best feeling was the crowd leaving that building not in a good mood. Just four to shoot. From deep. It's hauled in by LeBron. Lakers have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Out to the right wing. Rondo kicks to LeBron. A 
That's a no-go, and he's still looking for his first bucket after two shots. Matthews passes to Lopez. Bledsoe looking around. And Davis sends it back. Phenomenal defense by Anthony Davis to spike that shot back. Make a heck of a volleyball player. Here's Kuzma, and it's all evened up. Time out, time Just out. setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Are you asking me, G.A.? I, I'm not sure. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And here's Middleton. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Rondo dishes to LeBron. Matthews against Green. Right side, Rondo. Just five to shoot. Middleton, they get it back. Green breaking loose, and they take the lead. Davis has got six. All length there from AD. The assertive attitude, and it just makes him such a handful on the offensive glass. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The Bucks have had two chances at the line already, making them both. At the line for two. The first one falls. And Lopez serves as an unbelievable case study for someone who changed his game over time. I mean, almost in a season. So specifically, how he added the three-point shot, it's made him such a valuable asset to this offense. He's perfect from the line this time. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Davis, the pass to LeBron. Down low. Here's Kuzma. And the rejection by Giannis. To the middle. Here's Lopez. And the dunk by Lopez. Uh, Lopez at that size has no trouble throwing it down. Inside. That's good from Davis on the assist by James. That's now eight points for Anthony Davis. Middleton outside. Rondo against Bledsoe. Outside on the Kumbo. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Kyle Kuzma picks one up. It's weird to say it, but the sheer length of Giannis can put the defense in a really bad position. So hard to defend without fouling. And he makes the first. DeMarcus Cousins. He's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Both free throws good from Anadokounmpo. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing by two. Outside, Green. Shot clock at six. 
Here's James. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Now, defensively, that's what you're trying to prevent, and LeBron James is too good. Bledsoe passes to Lopez. Back to Bledsoe. And Middleton kicks to Lopez. Middleton on the wing. Near the three-point line, it's Bledsoe. Milwaukee, no good that time either. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been... Oh, wow! Uh, sometimes LeBron just likes to take it all out on the rim. That time on display. Bucks have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Here's Bledsoe. Doesn't go that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Davis, that one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Timeout called the Bucks. Anthony Davis really making a difference here. And yeah, the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there, so it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Bucks trail by four. Outside Corver, back to Bledsoe. On the wing, Corver. Rebounded by the Lakers. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. When you go in there weak like that, and a guy like Giannis with his length is going to throw it away. Now here's Middleton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And the Bucks miss again. Caldwell Pope outside. And there's the pass to Cousins. Shoots from the block. And the pass gets good. A bank shot that time. Yeah, his body is a huge advantage for him, and Cousins uses it so well. First couple steps are pretty quick for a guy his size. Now here's Lopez. Back to Bledsoe. And he finishes nicely on the way. Bledsoe's got his second basket of the night. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. James in the post. Defended by Middleton. The shot's good. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Hudzo finds Corver. Fires the three. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got four rebounds in this game. Loads it up for Davis. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. And when AD takes off from the ground for alley oops like this one, it really demoralizes the opponent. Bounce pass from Bledsoe. A shot. Offensive rebound. Lakers leading by eight. LeBron with it. He has seven. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his first foul. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Lopez. Ilyasova comes in for Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. The Lakers also making some changes. JaVale McGee's checked in for Davis, and it's Avery Bradley in for LeBron. Corver passes to Lopez, and the dunk by Lopez. Outstanding job by Corver in how he swings the pass over to the most open man on the court. Outside Rondo. Here's McGee, and the slam dunk by McGee. 
scraping and clawing, doing everything he can to grow that lead. Mm, emphatic on the putback stuff. Uh, team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. Now here's Ilyasova. Here's Hill. And the shot goes in. Uh, George Hill making me get out a box of tissues. Sweet teardrop there. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for Los Angeles. Six-point lead. Caldwell both outside. Takes the 13-footer. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second-chance buckets. Here's Connaughton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Makes it off the glass. Well, that screen wasn't quite as effective as it could be. However, they find a way to get it done. Credit to Shooter for overcoming that aggressive defense. Cousins, no good. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Hill, no good. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Bradley finds Rondo. Caldwell Pope outside. It's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Connaughton passes to Ilya Sofa. Here is Corver. Outside Hill. And they pick up two. Hill's got his second bucket tonight. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Passes it to Cousins. Outside for Ronda. And another three for the Lakers. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Los Angeles on top, up 10. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. There are a lot of letters that go into the spelling of Giannis Antetokounmpo's last name. He helped set the record straight of how you pronounce it. In a Greek way, you got to say with a D. So it's Antetokounmpo. But in the Greek way, you say with an NT, like Antetokounmpo. Whatever you got, just say, you know, it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> Seems easy enough, right? <laughs> I guess so. I think a lot of people are going to stick with Giannis or the Greek freak. And it's time for more of the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. What a time of year. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. We've got Ilya Sova. He's out there with Kyle Korver. George Hill out there with Robin Lopez. And it's Connaughton in the guard spot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Caldwell poked the bounce pass. Here's Cousins. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And I know they don't really want him to walk in there, but there's got to be some resistance on Cousins when he gets positioned that deep. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Two. The first one falls. There's just no question about Boogie Cousins and how elite he is as a talent in this league, especially at his position. A bruising, powerful center who could do just about everything you want offensively. Milwaukee making a switch here. Matthews is checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Danny Green, he's checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Now here's Matthews. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Yeah. 
Here's the triple. The Bucks keep it going. A new 14-second clock. McGee with the block. But they'll get another chance. And the foul on Avery Bradley. That's his first foul. That's his first foul. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. And it's Connaughton missing. Lakers leading by 12. Bradley passes to McGee. The feed to Cousins. Now Bradley, five on the clock. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. That's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. Now here's Brent. And here is Cousins over Hill. And the shot is long. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. Feeds it to Lopez. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. Now, here's Kuzma. And McGee kicks to Kuzma. Pass to Cousins. And he banks in the layup. Cousins has got the lead up to 14 now for the Lakers. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Now here's Matthews. He's still scoreless so far in this one to end the cold streak. And that one hits back iron. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Here's Hill, following the score by Avery Bradley. And it's Hill penetrating. McGee with the block. And they'll keep possession. And good that time. Lopez has got four points in the quarter. A guy that doesn't give up on the glass. Lopez, a real force at rebounding the ball. To the wing right side. Here's Cousins. Eliasova comes up with the rebound. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. Connaughton passes to Matthews. The kick out to Eliasova. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Eliasova's got his first points of the game. Bradley with the bounce pass. And Kuzma with the basket on the assist by Bradley. And the Lakers lead by 14. Pass to Ilyasova. Here's Connaughton, guarded by Bradley. Connaughton passes to Lopez. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. He feeds it to McGee. And it's McGee with the jam. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam time out, time out. topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. I have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. here for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Antetokounmpo comes in for Ilyasova. Chris Middleton's checked in for Pat Connaughton. 
Eric Bledsoe is subbed in for George Hill. The Lakers also making some changes. Anthony Davis comes in for JaVale McGee. And James subbed in for DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, Eric Bledsoe connecting from there when he's making that sort of stuff. You can see the confidence grow. And finished off by Davis. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Matthews against Green. Here's Giannis. And another basket for Milwaukee. That jump shot looking better and better from Giannis. When he gets in the rhythm, it becomes dangerous. Here's Bradley. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. The pass to Middleton. And a great assist by Bunzo as that one goes in. Staying confident in the paint. Middleton does a good job sinking that one. Passes it to LeBron. Over onto the Kumbo. Again, Los Angeles. Yeah, he's got to knock that down if you give it to him. Uncompetitive there defensively. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. Matthews finds Giannis. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Sometimes it takes a while for all that length in Giannis to catch up to those feet. But once he does, man, he can explode. Here's LeBron, and he drops it in from the low post. LeBron's got 11. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. The Bucs have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for the Bucks. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Rondo comes in for Avery Bradley. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. At one point, they led by 16. It's thrown by to Takumbo. Ludzo against Rondo. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to just 10 points on the bucket from Bledsoe. Bledsoe showing some faith in the floater. LeBron kicks to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope on the wing. Guarded by Korver. The Lakers rebound. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Just awesome aggressiveness by Davis there to force the issue on that shot. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, as good as AD already is, to think that there's still upside to his game, it's, it's really remarkable. Athletic, talented, and continues to work hard to maximize his talents. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Left side, out of the Kumbo. Lopez, no good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Rondo passes to LeBron and finished off by LeBron. LeBron putting the ball down on the deck. You just can't stop him when he goes straight to the rim. Korver kicks to Bledsoe. Giannis outside. Out of bounds. The Lakers will take possession. Lakers leading by 14. Rondo passes to LeBron. Over Giannis. LeBron with the bucket. James has got 15 points. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Here's onto Takumbo. Tries again. LeBron grabs the miss. 
LeBron's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Now here's Bledsoe. He's got 10. To end the run, he hits the back iron and sinks the shot. 12 points for Giannis under the Kumbo. Shooting it with more confidence now. Look at his face. He didn't look quite right in the opening minutes. Finding it now. Loads it up for Davis. Throws down the alley oop slam. Well, they have a good plan going right now, and they're starting to create separation. The well, game plan might have been good, but you have to bring it together. Right now, their chemistry is something to be admired. Here's Caldwell Pope. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got four assists in the game. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And Hunter Tacumbo slams it in. Well, that's a nice toss up there, so you got to like the timing. But, of course, that's Giannis. He's going to grab anything. Middleton against LeBron. Outside, Davis. And another three for the Lakers. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Kyle Kuzma picks one up. I don't want to give Bledsoe an open lane. That's inviting some trouble. This is his first free throw of the game. At the one for two. First free throw is good. He's just such a, a bulldog out there in terms of his mentality. Eric Bledsoe can get assertive, and when he does that, it raises the level of play for the entire team. JaVale McGee's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Both good from the line that time. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect in line so far here in the second quarter. Well, how about LeBron reading the defense, waiting and being patient there until the gap opened up to deliver? Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Corver gets a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got three assists tonight. LeBron outside on the wing, Davis. Back to James. Here's McGee. Good hustle from the big man there. Love seeing Lopez work hard, get down low, make a difference on this end. And so it's Los Angeles closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And the NBA Finals action continues here on 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us on the Halftime Show. Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Bernie Johnson. Looking at the Lakers. They built a back-breaking lead, showing incredible heart in the first half. Their eyes are firmly set on taking a dominant 3-1 advantage in this championship series. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. I'll tell you, Anthony Davis every year has improved his skill level. Much more comfortable from three-point range now, much better ball handler, and better at finding the open man. The complete package. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. Well, there are a few areas they need to improve on, but perimeter defense is priority numero uno. They got to be quicker to close out on a three-point shooter. You got to prevent the open looks. They weren't fighting through screens. They're just not doing enough right, especially outside. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. Welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. 
You look at Anthony Davis in this game, he's been everywhere. There must be ice water in his veins. Such an important game, and he plays superb basketball in that opening half. Yeah, G.A., still interesting to see if in this second half he can find ways to get to those same spots. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So the Lakers five right now. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's Rondo in at the one. Good, and the assist goes to James. That's now eight points for Rajon Rondo. Uh, LeBron makes a million decisions a moment out there on the floor. That time, another good one. Middleton outside. Lopez dishes to Bledsoe. Count that one. Bledsoe's got 14 points. And good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. Davis, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And you can see the lower body strength from AD right there, able to take contact, get fouled, and still get the shot to go. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And that one falls for Davis. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Bloodsoe outside. And the slam dunk by Hunter Takumbo. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now here's Rondo. He's got eight. Lopez with the steal. Bledsoe against Rondo. No good from Bledsoe. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And they double up LeBron. Lock at six. From deep three-point range, Milwaukee with a rebound. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. And with his size and athletic ability, playing above the rim, not an issue for Kuzma. And it's out of the Kumbo, penetrated. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart, and let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Matthews with the steal. Over Green, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Middleton against LeBron. Over Middleton. James, the pass to Kuzma. Good, and the assist goes to James. Eight points for Kyle Kuzma. And when you give Kuzma that shot, he is going timeout, timeout. to let it fly. He, he is so confident in his mid-range. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. here for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Lopez. Iliasova comes in for Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. And the Lakers also making a change. Cousins is checked in. Now here's Lopez. He has six. Four on the shot clock. 
DeMarcus Cousins comes up with the rebound. LeBron kicks to Ron. A three-pointer, no good. Bucks trail by 21. Matthews into the lane. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Matthews has got four points in the quarter. I'd like to see George Hill distribute to his teammates a heads-up play there. Rondo against Hill. And they double up Cousins. Green finds James. And the dunk by James. Uh, LeBron on the roll. This time rocks it. Here's Connaughton. James covering. Connaughton passes to Lopez. A second chance effort. And it's Ilyasova laying it in. Ilyasova's got his second basket. Hey, Ilyasova playing with a high motor tonight. Lots of activity. He's good for at least a few second chance points. Here's LeBron. And the dunk by James making the most of the screen that's how it's done and it's in the perfect spot greg frees him up to get all the way to the bucket really not enough help there lack of communication on the backside los angeles leading by 21 here's cousins and then cousins with the dunk that's power from demarcus cousins rondo against hill that's the lopez No good, shot missing. Nice D from Cousins. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. LeBron with it. He's picked up by Hill. Kuzma, good on the shot. Kuzma's got six in the quarter. Beautiful touch close in. Kuzma excels at taking advantage down low. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And here's Matthews from the arc. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. Up the floor. And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Matthews. Matthews has got three assists now in this one. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under. making a change here. Corver's checked in. The Lakers also making some changes. JaVale McGee's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Caldwell Pope comes in for James. And it's Avery Bradley in for Green. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Ten points for him. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. And just a smooth customer off that pick and roll. KCP making a quick assessment and decides to take it for himself. Hill against Rondo. Hill dishes to Lopez. DeMarcus Cousins comes up with the rebound. Cousins has got his fifth rebound in this one. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Now here's Corver. Matthews scanning the floor. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. And here's Hill for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. McGee's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Rondo. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Uh, although he's a bit smaller, Rondo knows he's got to outthink guys on the interior. And that time drew the contact. The Lakers have missed two free throws in the game going five for seven.
free throw drops for Rondo. Yeah, when Rondo gets motivated, and we've seen that now for a good stretch, he's as valuable as it gets. And Rondo drops them both. Milwaukee has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Hill kicks to Ilyasova. Pass to Korver from outside the arc. Good on the three-point shot. Korver's got six. And, uh, hey, that's Korver's go-to. As soon as he catches that ball right there, it's going right up. Gotta love that approach. Back to Rondo. Here's Cousins. And again, no good by the Lakers. Milwaukee has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Matthews passes to Hill. Corver against Bradley. Six on the shot clock. Outside Matthews. And the three off target. LA has gone six of 11 when they're taking the three point shot tonight. Very respectable. Well, that's a good job by Avery Bradley recognizing that he had an open teammate and get it to him in a good position. Lopez finds Corver. And here's Matthews. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. The pass to Ilya Soap. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Rondo passes to Cousins. No good there. And Milwaukee the other way now. Outside Hill. Passes it to Lopez. Over Caldwell Pope. And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Hill. Lopez has got four points in the quarter. Comfortable shooting close to the basket. The size Lopez possesses gives him confidence down low. Here's McGee. Second chance shot. And it's good on the way in. McGee's got his third basket of the night. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Lopez, no luck. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Yeah, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. Antetokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks. Chris Middleton comes in for Wesley Matthews. LeBron, he's checked in for the Lakers. Now here's James. 19 points in the game. Here's McGee. It's good. McGee's got eight points. 59 seconds left in the third. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. It's a huge night for Giannis Antetokounmpo at the offensive end of the floor. That length and athleticism just proving to be too much for any defensive scheme. Now here's Rondo. Ten points for him. Got a piece of it. He had stolen by Antetokounmpo. Here's the teardrop. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Hill's got three assists tonight. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Cousins, they shoot again, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, the tricks of the big man, DeMarcus Cousins, on display there. Terrific at showing the ball, getting his man to jump out of position and taking full advantage. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And that one falls for Cousins. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And the Bucks with some changes. Brooke Lopez has checked in for Ilyasova. And Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Hill. The Lakers also with a sub. Cook is checked in for Rajon Rondo. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Milwaukee has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. And stolen by LeBron. 
And here we go. Fast break. Kings has got it. Love how quickly the King got out there. The first two steps getting that break started. With one on the clock. And Lopez with the nice bucket inside. Lopez has got nine. And so it's Los Angeles. Rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up a quarter. This has been a one-sided matchup, and I don't see any signs of it lessening. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Brooke Lopez is out there with Wilson. Then there's Bledsoe. Then there's Brown. And it's DiVincenzo in at the two. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Here's Caruso. Lock at six. Daniels from outside. Wilson grabs the board. Bledsoe outside. Swiped away. Pass to Caruso. Two points. That one goes. Caruso's got his first two points of the night. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Bledsoe. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Cook the pass to McGee. And here's Daniels. Kicks it to Cook. Six to shoot from downtown. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Pass to Caruso. Now Daniels. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Daniels has got five points in the quarter. Now that play never gets old, Kevin. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Lakers. Daniels, no good. Brown dishes the blood cell. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Even Shenzo hits the bucket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Cook the pass to McGee. Here's Caruso. Back to McGee. Daniels inside the line. And there's another one for the Lakers. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Lopez finds Budso. Beyond the arc. And it's Daniels with the rebound. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three-point range. Cook dishes to Daniels. Back to Cook. Daniels with it. Lets it go with a three. Cook, good. Cook's got his first three points of the game. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Davis has checked in. Here's Connaughton. It's stolen by Davis. One-on-one -on -one fast break. 
And that one's good. Daniels. Daniels has got nine points now in just the second half. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Remember when big men shooting threes were as rare as a Sasquatch. And now those big guys are everywhere. Here's Cook. And the layup's good off the glass. Cook's got five points now this quarter. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now here's Wilson. Now the pass to Lopez. Shot clock at five. Outside Wilson. Here's DiVincenzo. No good from outside. For Los Angeles, they've gone seven of nine from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Cook kicks to Davis. Back to Cook. The dish to Davis. And Lopez pulls it down. Lopez has got five rebounds tonight. Robin Lopez has checked in for the Bucks. Los Angeles has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Passes it to Cook. With some arc, a rebound by the Bucks. Brown feeling out a bit. Pass to DiVincenzo. The Bucks working the ball around. Back to Lopez, and Davis pulls it down. Davis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Three-pointer, Daniels. That one's not going to go. The Bucks go the other way with it. Here's DiVincenzo. Pass to Connaughton. Here's DiVincenzo. The pass to Brown. And he's good on the three ball. Brown's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Cook, the pass to Davis. Count it. Good. Davis has got 26 points. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Here's Connaughton, and so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. One shot. And so he hits the technical free throw. And the fun-loving personality Lopez has makes him a likable teammate. It's clear that they love playing with him. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Now here's Brown. Here's Wilson. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Bradley can't get it to go. The defense better tighten up on the mid-range. They're much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. Here's DiVincenzo. He's guarded by Dudley. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Krills it from outside. So the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Loads it up for Davis. Lopez with the steal. Here's Connaughton. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Bradley deciding where to go with it. The feed to Dudley. On the wing, Daniels. He's covered by Brown. Daniels, no good. Milwaukee's gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Pass to DiVincenzo. No good with the triple. The Lakers have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Up top, Dudley. Here is Cook. Back to Dudley. 
He kicks to Cook. They need this one. And the rebound goes to Lopez. The Bucks have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Here's DiVincenzo. Pass to Lopez. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Cook the pass to Davis. Outside Brantley. Here's the pass to Daniels. Buries the long-range jumper. Daniels has got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Lakers. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting it well here in the fourth quarter, 50%. Outside Wilson, pass to DiVincenzo. And the Bucks miss again. The Lakers controlling the game. Outside, Davis. Daniels passes to Brantley. Back to Daniels. Here's Dudley, and the foul called on Anthony Davis. That's his third foul of the game. And some changes here for the Lakers. JaVale McGee comes in for Davis, and it's Alex Caruso in for Brantley. And so Brown will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And hold on to your hats, folks. This has been a whirlwind championship finals thus far. Obviously an important hard-fought victory tonight for the Lakers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that, and, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Davis. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Here's Connaughton following the basket by JaVale McGee. Offensive rebound, Wilson off on the layup. The Lakers controlling the game. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Caruso kicks to Cook. Pass to Daniels. And the three ball is good. Making every effort to put this game on ice. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. And now they're sitting on a commanding three games to one lead. They've grabbed this series by the throat, Greg. And, and, and Kevin, I don't think they're going to let it go. You could see the determination they had tonight. They don't want to drag this series out. They want to get this thing over with. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Danny, a strong defensive effort, both individually and team. Now, how comfortable are you at that end of the floor now, knowing that you can make things tough on the opposition? Well, um, we want to make them take tough shots. Um, we're not comfortable at any point defensively, but we got to continue to be active and be aggressive and get our hands on loose balls. It's been the mark of the Spurs for a long time, Danny. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Game four of the NBA Finals is all wrapped up. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you later.